Hey guys, we're filming a really normal video today. I hope you guys are excited for some more Halloween content. What's behind me? Nothing, nothing. <laughs> Happy Halloween! <laughs> Listen, I can explain, okay? The selection was just really good this year. Yeah. <laughs> Whether you've been here before or you're new because you wanted to see this decor hall, welcome. This is the haunted house, and now that you've entered, you can never leave. But don't say boo just yet, because we've got like a really big haul. A really, really big Halloween haul for you guys today. And I'm so excited that you guys are here. If you decide that you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. And maybe by the end of the video, if you're not already subscribed, you'll consider hitting that button too. Guys, it is 6 a.m. I could not wait to show you guys my findings. I went to Target. I went to At Home, Home Goods, and I even went thrifting. Okay? This is a massive haul. I didn't grab the stuff that I thrifted. Hold on. Guys, this haul's massive, so we might as well just get started because this video is gonna be really long. This is my reminder to everybody that just because I bought it doesn't mean that you need to, okay? The economy is awful right now, and if I could go back and not spend this money, I probably wouldn't, but that's because this is my special interest and this is something that means a lot to me and spending this kind of money on Halloween is not for everyone, okay? It's not for the faint of heart. So only, only go out and spend a bunch of money if this is something that brings you as much joy as, as it brings me, okay? Okay, let's be responsible. Don't be like me. Don't film videos at 6 a.m. while drinking an energy drink after not sleeping. Let's just start off nice and simple and I'll show you guys what I got at the thrift store. I love going to my local thrift store pretty much every other Wednesday and when Mara was in town I wanted to show it to her and I got so lucky because we found this cute little candle holder. Guys, this thing was so cheap. It was literally $1.50 and it's so my style. It's so like retro. It's got these like little gold plated stars and I'm covering this because there is a little chip, a little crack. And here's the thing, I think I can fix it. I think I can fix it, so it's not a big deal. We don't have to worry about that. Stuff's gonna happen like that when you thrift, okay? Guys, I found this, and Mara found this cute little mug. Guys, I'm obsessed. If you guys saw my Spirit Halloween haul, which was the video right before this, don't forget, guys, I have a whole playlist dedicated to Halloween vibes. You can click that in the description below. This mug I found before I went to Spirit Halloween, and this mug gives off the same energy as the cute little Halloween 90s friendship bracelets that I found. And so when I saw the friendship bracelets, I was like, hey, hey, hey. And my friend picked out this mug. So I don't know, just kind of cute and sweet. But this mug gives me pure nostalgia vibes. Something about it reminds me specifically of Halloween in my home growing up when I was really, really young. Looks like it's hand painted by like a family member. I don't know if the person who gave this up meant to, but I'm glad that they did. And that's all the stuff I thrifted. So those things you're not gonna find anywhere because I found them secondhand. Let me show you the stuff that you guys really want to see. Let's go to Target. Wow, all the things I got from Target, y'all, I got from the dollar section because my Target still doesn't have Halloween stuff yet because it still has back to school stuff. However, school started this week, so maybe I need to go check again. No. No, my wallet will thank me if I don't. First and foremost, I saw this on Instagram the day after I bought it. There was like a bunch of people posting that this is like the jackpot item this year and it's from the dollar section. All three of these things that I got from Target are from the dollar section. So get excited, literally $5 for a little gumball machine in the shape of a pumpkin. If I had any gripe at all, I just kind of wish there was more dimension to like the paint job, but I think I trust my skills enough in, you know, like my past with cosplay that I could paint this myself to make it look more weathered and fit my style a little bit more. So I don't know what I'm gonna put in here. I don't really like candy corn, but I feel like that would look really nice in here. And I usually have a party around Halloween so like other people can get to it. There's not an opening, so it's not like you put stuff in there to take out. So I guess I could just put whatever I wanted in there for display, maybe even like lights. 
Anyways, let's start some controversy in my comment section below and let me know how you feel about candy corn. Do you like them? Do you hate them? Are the pumpkin candy corn superior? And why is the answer yes? If you watched my Halloween haul videos last year, you saw that I've been trying to find Halloween decor that also fits my everyday decor because I'm trying to have to decorate less every year by keeping things out throughout the year because I'm a horror girly, okay? I like spooky shit in my house year round. So pretty much anything that is versatile that works for Halloween and every day, I'm like, gimme, gimme that. And I saw this. She's so cute. She's so clearly fake. I have a lot of fake plants. That's because I can't keep plants alive. I kill everything I touch and everyone I love leaves me. Um, but <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I saw this and I've been saying for years that we need more skeletons in different colors so that I can have cute little skulls out year round in all different shapes and sizes and colors. And when I saw burgundy, I squealed. I literally squealed out loud. I got so excited and I made eye contact with a cute non-binary person with a mullet and they giggled at me and then they ended up being at the K-pop store that I went to right after that. Was that fate? Was I supposed to ask for their number? Crisis at 6 a.m. Literal mental crisis at 6 a.m. Hold on, please hold. <laughs> I gotta work through this. <laughs> anyway, oh my God. There's a spider in here. It's a fake spider. And I'm so tired, so sleep deprived. That scared the bejeebus out of me. Anyway, I love this. I wish that they had this in more colors. Also, I feel like these cute little plants that are hanging out on the side are like little emo bangs. When I was a young boy, my father, Okay, and last but not least, from Target, from the dollar section at Target, we got, are you kidding me? Are you hecking goodness gracious kidding me? <laughs> it's so cute. Guys, this is like another candle holder. Y'all, I need to get a bunch of battery operated candles this year to put in these because I never would get candle holders like this because I, I don't trust myself to like blow them out, you know? And then the battery operated ones, I'm like, I don't trust myself to like turn them on and off every night, but I'm pretty sure I could splurge a little bit and get, you know, those ones that have timers and then you don't have to mess with them. If anybody has recommendations for those, leave them in the comment section below because I'm interested. And I think it would look so cute. Look at this. I don't, this looks retro and simple and minimalist all at the same time. And it does have a little handle. It's giving cauldron, but also giving lantern. I don't know. Is this a cauldron or a lantern? What would you say? <laughs> I love it. I don't know, it's so cute. And this was literally $5. Shall we move on to at home? Here's my little disclaimer for at home. I bought all this stuff in July. And when I got there, it was when they first started getting their Halloween stuff out. And they actually had a lot of stuff from last year. So I didn't buy that much because a lot of the stuff they had there, I already owned. But what I'm gonna show you, I'm excited about and is either new or they had it last year, but they were sold out of it last year. So I wasn't able to get it. So first and foremost, We've got a book coming off of a bookshelf with the Grim Reaper coming out of it. I don't know. I, <laughs> I really like this. In the past, I have decorated my mantle to kind of look dark academia and like have a lot of books on the mantle on the bookshelf to make it look like I'm a witch and this is my witch's hut and those are my spell books. I never said that out loud, but that's totally the vibe I've been going for. I think they sold this last year, but it was out of stock, so I wasn't able to buy one. And the lighting, I realized last year when I was decorating that I actually didn't have a lot of decorations that lit up anymore. So I saw this, it matches the little fake like dining room candles that I put out, and I was like, I'm sold. And speaking of those dining room candles, one of them, when I was unpacking it last year, had an arm break off, or it was already broken, and I was just noticing, and... They had him again this year, except in black. The one that is broken for me is white, but it's okay, I can have two black little dining room candles. So I just bought him again because, you know, he's not broken and it's okay to be a little broken. You know, I think it's, 
beautiful that we as humans do our best to patch ourselves up every once in a while, but it's also okay to try to fix what's broken and or spend our money on things that are new to make ourselves feel better. I don't know. I think I lost the metaphor. Anyway, um, candle. <laughs> okay, this is another thing that they had last year, but they didn't have in this color, or if they did, it was out of stock. But it's a cute little skull potion, potion, potion bottle. I got one of these last year in matte black, I believe, and it was like filled. This is empty and it's like iridescent and hollow, very pretty. It gives me the same vibes as the little fake succulent skull that I got from Target. Like I think I could leave this out all year and it will match my aesthetic. So we're gonna find a really pretty place for it. I also am trying to get more decorations that have this like pretty witchy Halloween-y green in it because I have very few decorations that do, but enough that I need them to match more decorations. Right now they stand out. Do you guys remember in my most recent video, my spirit Halloween haul, that I said that I was a bobblehead girly? Oh, you don't remember that. Is that because you didn't watch it? You should. You should. And I'm just, I'm just pulling your tug. I should not film these this tired. Guys, I got bobbleheads. <laughs> I got more bobbleheads. Last year, I got a ghost face bobblehead from Spirit Halloween. This year, I got a Sam bobblehead from Spirit Halloween. And now, from at home, we've got a Freddy Krueger. And we've got a Jason Voorhees. And they're solar bobbleheads, which I don't know what that means. I move under bright light. Is he moving because I'm shaking because I just had a lot of caffeine? Or is he moving because of the bright light? Either way, they're cute, and I've basically almost finished the collection. I feel like I, I need like a Michael Myers bobblehead and maybe a pinhead <gasps> bobblehead. That would be cute. And then we've got like our bobblehead boys. Our bobblehead boys. New band just dropped. Bobblehead boys. This is their signature dance move. Trademark it. I said that I wanna bring more color into my Halloween palette. I'm also including this pretty light blue color that I saw in this pumpkin. A lot of the stuff at At Home this year had like bright purple and I don't know if I vibe with that. I feel like At Home chooses a color to add to their palette every year and this year it was purple and they really went hard with the purple and I don't mind purple, but I'm not a purple person, you know? And I don't know, like I kind of like more muted retro looking things in general. And especially for my Halloween decorations, I want stuff to kind of look muted, dead, chill, retro, all of those things. It does the flashing lights like my candles and now that little Grim Reaper, love that. To me, the mint green does kind of give off a more retro feel. In my opinion, the one decoration around this time of year that you can't do wrong with, that you can't have too much of, is jack-o'-lanterns and pumpkins. So, had to do it. And the final thing that I got from at home matches a decoration I got from at home last year, which was like, I got this like cute little acrylic pumpkin that looked like a haunted house. And I remember when I was decorating my house last year, I felt like I struggled to find a place for that house that matched any of the vibes I had. And so when I saw this guy right here, I was like, oh, thank goodness. My haunted house pumpkin is gonna have like a matching pair. They're not fully matching, but the style is very similar. I just like that it looks like there's like a little torch behind the pumpkins. It looks like a graveyard behind a haunted house. And the other pumpkin's gonna be like the haunted house that's behind it. I don't know. I think it's cute. I feel like I finished my collection. The stuff that was missing last year, like the green potion bottle, the Grim Reaper book, and now this. I feel like I've finished the stuff I missed out on last year and like made a complete set. We'll see if that's true when I decorate. Now, last but absolutely not least, we have four whole bags from Home Goods. One of the bags is filled up because the items in it are just really big. I don't think I've ever gone to Home Goods and been this struck with like inspiration. Is that the word I'm looking for? Home Goods has always had good stuff. I think I've always spent the most money there every year, but something about the stuff this year just hit different. Oh my God, you guys remember when I said I wasn't a purple girly? I just got a new iPhone and it's purple. 
But that's because it was the only one they had. Anyway, sorry. So last year, I ended up using tablecloths on all of my tables and surfaces that I could because it was really helpful at pulling everything together. I ended up lacking tablecloth for my Halloween party because I used one of the tablecloths as a backdrop instead for like our little fake photo booth. And so I knew that I was going to try to find more this year. And boy oh boy, I was not disappointed. There was a lot of options. There was like three or four more that I wanted to buy, but I stopped myself. But we've got this cute classic oblong regular pumpkin boyos. I love this. They look hand painted. So it's by Nicole Miller. I feel like this is going to fit the runner that I got last year. So that's why I got this. This time it's actually the correct shape for my dining room table because I used a round tablecloth last year. This year I made sure to get oblong. And it's very thick, feels good quality. And that's not all. I also found this spider web, spidery quilt looking one. It's kind of sparkly, which is not usually my vibe but I feel like this is going to be a good one to layer with a second one, maybe a runner, if that one doesn't work with the runner. Listen, I like to have options. Options are better than no options, and I like to mix patterns, okay? I like to put patterns that you don't think make sense next to each other. I like to just play. So give me a lot of options. And if worse comes to worse, I can always trade these with friends who need this vibe, right? But I think this will be good on my beer pong table or my laundry table. That's what I use it for. If it's a party, it's a beer pong table. If it's me in my home by myself, I fold my laundry on it. <laughs> this will be good for that. Also, it's just really soft and I'm a texture girly. Feels nice to touch. Remember when I said I liked a good pattern? <laughs> I saw this and I was like, that's not even Halloween. That's emo night. And y'all might not know this, but two birthdays ago, my birthday was emo night. I needed this tablecloth and didn't have it. Not saying I'm gonna do another emo night birthday, but maybe I'll just do like, no, I'll probably do more emo night birthdays or emo night parties in general. It was really fun, okay? All my friends dressed up like they did when they were like seen and emo in high school, right? And then we just listened to good music all night. So slay. Anyway, I feel like this tablecloth is one that could be used year round in my home specifically. So it's not just Halloween. I saw it and I saw versatility. Did I mention that I like to have parties at my house? Cause I do, I'm a host, I'm a hosting girly, okay? I like to have people over so they can be merry and get drunk or high and just vibe, right? So if I see cute decorative things that are versatile again, I'm gonna get them. And again, these aren't necessarily Halloween for me because I'm a witchy girly. I'm reading tarot on the daily and I love talking about zodiac and astrology and all that jazz. Okay, so we've got pretty little sun and moon celestial napkins. Yes. And then we've got the witchy tarot, cauldron, bats, Ouija, whatever. I don't know. I just think that these are so fun. I haven't bought napkins for a holiday like ever. I think I did it like once and I've used them for decoration two years in a row. These ones I think I could use you years use year round or save them for when I have parties. I don't know, I just like saw them and I was like, if I don't get them now, I'm probably gonna regret it and I won't see them again ever again. I won't see them again ever again. Really good at talking. I keep calling it back to earlier in the video or earlier in other vlogs and hauls, but guys, remember when I said, I have decorated my mantle to kind of look dark academia and like have a lot of books on the mantle, on the bookshelf to make it look like I'm a witch and this is my witch's hut and those are my spell books. Yeah, so Home Goods heard me manifesting this the past three years and delivered. We've got one big fake book that opens and ooh, I like hated the smell and then immediately loved it, like changed my mind. Oh my God, it's just like me with books at the library. Anyways, one cool fake book that you can hide stuff in. 
okay? It's witchy. It gives me tarot reading vibes. It gives me, well, you know, fortune teller vibes, right? Okay, but don't don't freak out just yet because we've got another one. And what does this remind you of? Oh, does it remind you of like all of the cute little Halloween stickers that I had last year for my gratitude journal? Does it remind you of all of my Halloween decorations that I've thrifted in the past? Does it remind you of what you think I'd look like if I were a kid in the 1600s? That's clearly an exaggeration, but I definitely would have been burned at the stake if I was alive back then. Wow, two books? That's nuts. There's no way that there could be more books. And this one says potions on it and it has a witch on it. And it's like the same retro vibe as the little girly <laughs> that you see here. That was a good noise. ASMR, am I right? I also am just like looking at this now and I'm realizing that this little girl, it totally looks like the TTRPG that I just announced I'm gonna be in. It looks like my character in that was inspired by this, but I actually made that character before finding this and didn't make that connection till right now. I love these. Weirdly enough, my parents used to have like little fake book decorations in their home. And I used to always be like, that's so cheesy and weird and like blah, blah, blah. And then, I found ones that suit my style and now I get it. And look at these three colors together. Rich, pretty. Oh my God, so sick, dude. The next little guy that I have, I swear I add one to the collection every year. Home Goods sells these cute little statues that look like Halloween creatures mixed with the circus. And they all kind of look retro and make my heart so happy and give me like frisian. I don't know, but um, we found another one that I didn't have last year. They might've sold him last year, but I didn't see him last year. And I'm so stoked because he's actually shorter than the ones I already have. And I need more variations and sizes. So I'm really stoked. And he's got some purple, not a lot of purple, but enough to add an accent color to, oh no, he's broken. <gasps> His little lollipop is cracked. It's okay, I think I could fix that. I could fix that. The purple is like the perfect amount of purple for me. It'll draw in any other purple that I have and other decorations without it being like, these are purple Halloween decorations. Why did I look like one of those like cosplayers on TikTok just now? These are purple Halloween decorations. Um, I saw you from across the room and I like your vibe. I was too good at that. I was really, really good at that. So I saw this and literally was like, oh, that's really cool and walked away from it. And then I was like, wait, this has Instagram potential. And for that reason alone, I had to get it. And before you tease me about that in the comment section below, reminder, posting pictures is a big part of my job. I don't usually buy mirrors firsthand because they're so expensive. But I saw this and I just, I pictured fun, a fun little Oh God, you're gonna be able to see the mess on my desk. Look it, there's my pride, my pride flag. We got a cute little skeleton mirror. Okay, it's like a skeleton sitting and taking a selfie themselves. It's so cute. This is actually like very much the style of mirror that I wish I had like a giant version of. I thought of a lot of fun possibilities to use this and use it for other purposes besides decorating. I'm grateful that I didn't pass it up because to be honest, I think it was the only one that they had at that specific store because the woman was checking it out and she seemed bummed that I grabbed it because it seemed like she wanted it. Sorry, bestie. We've got another boyo, another pumpkin boyo. Oh, interesting. It looks like they forgot to paint his sleeve or maybe that's purposeful. Oh no, it's totally purposeful. There's also another, there's like two other patches. Yeah, that don't have black there cause it's supposed to be like plaid. Sorry, that looked like on accident and I didn't notice it before. But anyway, he kind of goes with this vibe. It's giving scarecrow pumpkin, like the cute shirt that I got from American Eagle. I just like him. I like all the different variations. Oh my God, wait, his shoes are giving gnome. I'm just catching that now. He's like a pumpkin lawn gnome. Bro, did somebody cut off your head? Okay, now it's giving over the garden wall and I'm here for it. Guys, don't be mad at me because I bought one of these last year. I ended up donating it because I never ended up using it. 
I liked it at first, but the vibe didn't suit me year round. And it was something that I wanted to have on display year round. So I knew I wanted to get a replacement eventually. And bro, I didn't expect my prayers to get answered right after I donated it. Like literally like a week before I had donated it. But I got more espresso cups. But these ones fit my vibe way better. Guys, they're little skeletons doing yoga poses. One thing about me, I love yoga. I actually was really into yoga before I sprained my ankle a few years ago. And then my ankle injury made it really hard to do most of the poses for like years and years and years. And I just got back into it. Like on this break that I've been taking, I've been taking time to do my yoga poses. I'm working on it. We're trying to make it a habit again. We'll see. It's really hard to make habits when you're ADHD. But I love this because the one I got last year, it almost was too detailed and it was too much color is not the right word because it was black and white but it was just there was too much going on and this solid black with just like the little skeletons really feels more my vibe that i could use year round like i don't want to remove these from my coffee area when it's not halloween i want this year round <laughs> downward werewolf i didn't see this before do all of them say the names of the poses that's so sick I'm gonna assume that all of these say the name of the poses because this is Downward Dog. But if you guys do wanna know the answer to that for sure, you're gonna have to watch my decorating vlog because I don't wanna open these just yet. I wanna keep them nice and safe until I start decorating. That is probably one of my favorite finds so far this year. Ooh, okay. This next thing I found, the last two years, I've seen Target and Home Goods try to do this and they have successfully, but not in ways that fit my aesthetic. So trigger warning, if you have a thing with eyeballs, by the way, this has eyeballs. Guys, it's like a creepy rose with eyeballs and there's like a frog. There's a little frog holding an eyeball and it's a candle holder, little candelabra. I've seen this in the past at Target and at Home Goods in different colors. They've done purple. I think it's usually because it's purple that I don't like it or it's got like glitter. This does have some sparkle to it, but it's so subtle. I feel like it's, it's subtle enough that I don't mind. And I feel like the painting of this makes it look weathered and aged. And I have been adding green to my decorations this year. So I'm really, really hoping that this fits the vibe. And the frog really sold it for me, y'all. I don't know if you guys know this, but frogs are a queer icon. I love having frogs in my decor in my home. So had to do it. A witch loves her frogs. So cute, 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 cute. I don't know. It's so cute. I don't know what they did different that made me go, that finally works for me. That's finally my vibe, but they did it. Guys, we are on the last bag. We're on the final bag. This is not a drill, guys. There's one more book. And one more warning if you have a thing for eyes or with eyes. Not for eyes, that's different. There's eye fetishes and then there's eye phobias. If you have an eye phobia, this one might not be for you. But don't worry after this that we're done with eyes. I see you. Bro, this one looks like the eyeball is following you. And look how real this clasp looks. It's fake. It does not move, but it looks so good. The paint job on this is so fire. And also I like the, um, what is this called? Binding? I don't know, dude. I like, I like this, whatever it is. I'm a fan of the trim, the binding, the wang wang wee wang wang, the spine. <gasps> I like the spine, Dad. <laughs> you guys got a thing for spines? <laughs> you got a thing for eyeballs? I got a thing for spines, Dad. <laughs> I think all these little books are gonna look so good together. I also just realized that this eyeball looks almost like a dragon's eye. It's like scaled. Oh, I'm so excited to turn my house into like a witch's hut this year. Like fully a witch's, I mean, I mean, hello. We've got the books and we've got the, <laughs> we have the book and we have like the experimental magic plant and a toad like that's so sick i don't know i'm just realizing i really hit the jackpot this year this has nothing to do with halloween i just knew that i needed something to put my makeup brushes in because actually right now i'm using a mug that i got last year for my makeup brushes so i wanted a makeup brush holder that matched my streaming setup better i gotta remove the stickers and stuff but hey fun cool acrylic i've got a lot of acrylic stuff in this room that matches this and like different colors of pinks and purples. 
And this is way more orange than I thought. In the store, it looked pink. This is very orange, but I don't mind it. Kind of cool. I'm so stoked to have found another drinkware this year because last year I, I found the coolest coffee mugs, which I love and I used year round, like literally obsessed with them. But I saw this and my heart skipped a beat because I love my big emotional support water bottles, okay? I do. But now I get one that's spooky. And guys, my stream and YouTube community is called The Haunted House and you guys are my ghoul kids. So I get to carry you guys with me. This is like I'm hanging out with y'all all the time. These are my little ghoul kids. Just drinking your souls. It's actually how I stay young. The only reason I want lots of subscribers on YouTube is so that I can drink your stole stoles. I don't want to drink your stoles. <clears throat> I want to steal your holes. No. I want to... Go to bed. <laughs> I want to go to sleep. It's the perfect kind of grip for me. I like to hold my mugs like this. So it's a tumbler. It's insulated. You can keep cold stuff in here and hot stuff in here. Is it dishwasher safe? Hand wash only. Dang it. That's okay. Oh, I'm so excited about this. So you guys remember the cute little thrifted mug that I got? This looks like it was made to go with it. It's giving vintage. It's hand painted. It's giving 90s Halloween. I love it, guys. It's so cute. And like, look at the back. There's like clouds and stars. It's the color scheme that's giving 90s. And look how good it goes with the thrifted mug. They look like they were meant to be a set. I don't know. I just think they're so fun. I would have seen this in my family's home to match our Halloween decorations. Like our Halloween decorations were these colors, like purple, yellow, old fashioned ghosties, like cutesy and kind of like hand painted looking. I don't know, like, does this, guys, this ghost has boobs. This ghost is grabbing its own titties. She like me for real, for real. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. Guys, for the very last item of this whole entire haul, we've got a mug that I saw on Instagram and Twitter and Pinterest, but couldn't find in a single store from last year. The iconic cute little ghost. Look at his little arms. Look at his pretty shape, dude. Uh, I swear, I saw him everywhere. Like four or five of you guys got him last year and I couldn't find him. I went everywhere and I found him on accident this year. I'm so stoked. <laughs> I'm not sure I understand. I'm not talking to you. Ah! I'm so excited, y'all. This haul in particular was like, you know the saying, you're healing your inner child? This haul healed my inner last year version of me. <laughs> because there was so many things I was trying to find that I couldn't and this year I stumbled upon them on accident. I am hoping to just chill out for the rest of the year and not go spend more money because y'all, my wallet's hurting. But life is short and we should spend our money on things that bring us joy. And having things in my home that remind me of my favorite holiday or my favorite movies or I don't know, my favorite memories really makes me feel safe and warm and held. And I know it's not for everyone. Some people would like to spend their money on experiences. I would like to spend my money on experiences, but I also need to nest. And so this kind of thing means a lot to me. And it means a lot to me that you guys enjoy watching me show off things that bring me joy. So thank you for being a part of that. We've reached the end of this video, y'all. It was a big end. It was a big end. But if y'all watch this whole video and you're not already subscribed, now's the time for you to hit that button and consider hitting the bell button too. You'll get notified anytime I post new videos. And this time of year, we're posting lots of content like this. Don't forget that I have a whole playlist for my Halloween vibes that will be in the description below and in the comment section and on my profile. And you can follow me on any of these places. I live stream on Twitch. I play video games for a living, which is weird and silly and cool but if you want to follow me there feel free and i will see you guys very soon with more spooky content more halloween vibes on the youtubes later skaters 
Let's hyperfixate and share our joy together, friends. Mm -hmm.